Good morning, magandang araw. In this video, we are going to talk all about sequence, how to generate patterns, and find the next term of a sequence. So when we say sequence, it is an arrangement of elements that usually follow a specific pattern. It can be it can be finite sequence and infinite sequence. So when we say finite sequence, or an example to this is 3, 6, 9, and 12. So finite sequence means that the elements can be counted. So as you notice, if you notice, no 3, 6, 9, and 12. So in this sequence, we have exactly 4 elements. For infinite sequence, element, our example is 4, 8, 12, and 16, and so on. Infinite sequence, uh, that means the pattern goes on. Kung napansin nyo, yung mga tuldok dyan or yung dots, that indicates na yung term natin keeps going and going. Okay? From the word infinite or infinity, tuloy-tuloy lang siya. Forever, wala siyang katapusan. Okay? Then, we also have the pattern. For our first example, we follow, or our pattern is adding 3 sa previous number. Like 3 plus 3, 6. Another, another 3, 9. Then another 3, 12. And for our second example, the pattern is adding 4 to the previous number. So each element is also called term, which, which is, or it can be presented A sub n, where n is the position of term. Again, new n is the position of term just like this one we have three so at the first term six so at the second term nine on our third term and twelve for our last term we see an example we have four first term eight second term twelve third term and sixteen for our fourth term so, let us now try to find for an n term. Find the first four terms of the sequence defined by the formula for the n term. a sub n is equal to 2n plus 3. So, nahanap niya. We are looking for the first four terms. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang isang term yung hanapin natin yung first four terms. It means from the start ng sequence or pinakaunang term sa sequence, yung hahanapin natin up to four terms. So, by using this given uh, formula. So, let's try to solve. For our first term, a sub 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 3. Where do I get 1? Dito sa ating first term. If you remember, sinabi ko kanina, n refers to the position of our term. Okay? So, 2 times 1, remember gemdas, grouping, exponent, multiplication, division before addition. So, sa case na ito, let's multiply first 2 sa 1 before we add to 3. So, 2 times 1, 2 plus 3, that will give us a 5 as our first term. Okay? So, to solve our second term, again, yung 2 natin dito is, we derive 2 from the position of our term, which is 2. So, 2 plus 2, or 2 times 2, plus 3 is equal to 7. For our second, for our third term, we have 2 times 3, Plus 3 is equal to 9. And for our last term, we have 2 times 4 plus 3 is equal to 11. So therefore, 5, 7, 9, and 11 are the first four terms of the sequence. Alright? Example is, find the seven terms of the sequence whose general term is a sub n is equal to n all over 3n plus 1. 
so uh, this um problem uh, all we have to do is to look for the seven terms seven term so ibig sabihin uh, we are not going to look for the first second so yung number seven lang na term yung hahanapin natin okay and to do that let's try to solve by using this general term a sub n is equal to n all over 3n plus 1. So substitute mo yung n sa 7, 7, kasi 7, or yun yun yung position ng term that we are looking for. So 7 all over 3 times 7 plus 1 is equal to 7 all over 21 plus 1 because 3 times 7 is 21. And to simplify that, we have 7 over 22 as our 7th term. So therefore, the 7th term of the sequence is 7 over 22. Let's see. Get a little